Oh yeah, baby. 1-800-449-8255. And you just stumbled on a video that just might change your life forever. Clark the Shark. You're now on the Clark the Shark show. That's where you're at. And we're talking about one of my favorite bands, one of my favorite albums. Just awesome, amazing, incredible, raw nasty, also known as Neil Innes on the Ruttles. I mean, I'm speechless when I think about the Ruttles. The whole project is dynamic atmospheric <laughs> it's just incredible how uh, Neil Innes and you know the one guy in the band used to be in the Beach Boys <laughs> I mean I didn't like that guy in the Beach Boys you know the Beach Boys to me you can't corrupt you know the five or six guys but uh, this guy the guy at the top, to the right, he actually made the Beach Boys better. Him and that other guy that joined the Beach Boys about, you know, 1972, 71. I love uh, Surf's Up. It didn't have him. But then uh, Carl and the Passion, so tough. This guy? Oh, him and that other guy. They make the album great. I like all those Beach Boys albums. Holland. Man. I mean, The Beach Boys Loves You is epic. The, just the Brian Wilson. <laughs> I love Johnny Carson, man. But, um, yeah, man. Of course the Ruddles aren't a band, and you know, that's irrelevant, my friends. It's beside the point. Just look at them. They, they're, they're more than the Fab Four. They're from the Rutland Weekend. <laughs> I love this project. And I love all these songs, man. Eric Idle... As Dirk McQuickly. <laughs> and of course, Ron Nasty. And and the guy, Neil Innes, is just so talented, you know? <laughs> and well, I think Barry Wom. <laughs> like, their little acronym for Ringo Starr. <laughs> the Ruttles. 1-800-449-8255. You're on the Clark the Shark Show. The greatest show on YouTube. The greatest talk radio on Rumble, baby, or Vimeo, or, or wherever Clark the Shark goes. It's always a show, baby. It could be 4 a.m. and I could be lying naked in the bathtub. And it's the Clark the Shark Show. You know, like that guy, Jesse Waters, and, you know, this is his world. You know, on that Fox News red eye, you know, Greg Gutfeld, and the Fox News, the five or whatever, you know, uh, they think they're so funny at Fox News. And, uh, Greg Gutfeld just always oh, thinks he's so irreverent and ironic and he is funny, man. He's funnier than any liberal. I mean, liberals aren't funny. Those people aren't funny at all. They don't even have a sense of humor at 1-800-449-8255. I mean, if Greg Gutfeld is funnier and more irreverent and ironic than you, you must be a liberal at 1-800-449-8255. That's right. You just heard it from Clark the Shark. And I'm reviewing one of the greatest rock albums. This should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I mean, let's be perfectly honest and clear here. The Ruddles are amazing. This project... And George Harrison, he got into this movie. 
you know, the project. He loved it. And so did John Lennon. And so did Yoko Ono. They were laughing. But as usual, you know, Mr. Douchebag, Paul McCartney, not only didn't like the Ruttles. Oh, but I clocked the show. He threatened to sue them. Because you don't make fun of the Beatles. Clark the shot. Ah, fuck off, McCartney, you douche. Get a... Psh, grow a funny bone, guy, my friend, because you suck. At 1-800-449-8255. The Ruddles, man, nothing's funnier. Nothing's more ironic. You know Frank Zappa laughed at this. You know Mickey Dolenz laughed at this. You know Pete Townsend had to have just chuckled to this. I mean, this is perfect. Perfect rock and roll. The Ruttles. And, you know, much like the Monkees before them, Clark the Shark's favorite bands are never real. The Ruttles ain't real. The Monkees ain't real. And me, Clark the Shark in the Greenhouse Effect, I never got signed, so technically... According to, like, w uh, Wikipedia, Garth, well, like, uh, like, uh, like Clark the Shark, you, uh, you and your band, like, don't exist. Like, uh, uh, uh 1-800-449-8255, Shark. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, fuck you liberals in your fake fucking existence. And uh, fuck the fucking boat, you swam in on at 1-800-449-8255 because Clark the Shark loves the Ruddles. I love the Ruddles. Neil Innes, man, he captures it. He's a genius. He is a genius, Neil Innes. And, you know, there's all these, you know, like Spinal Tap, there's all these funny, not real Ruddles albums, you know, like Shark Sandwich, you know, Intravenous De Milo <laughs> type of stuff. But, um, you know, Hold My Hand is just awesome. And number one, uh, you know, the Greenhouse Effect song, number one, is named it. it we named it number one in honor of number one by the Ruddles I, I swear to God I'm not kidding man I love number one I want to I want to hold your hand hold me hand yeah yeah and I'll see you home <laughs> I mean they just capture the Beatles in 1963 you know, 1962, 1964. With a girl like you. I mean... Shoot me down in flames if I should tell a lie. <laughs> I've got to do me... I've got to do me McCartney voice. With a girl like you. And I must be in love. Is Oh, nails like... I don't know, like the Beatles for sale? That's awesome. I mean, over here in America, it was like Beatles 65 or, <laughs> you know, something. But, um, I love, I must be in love is so catchy. And of course, ouch, which is the paying homage tribute to help. <laughs> it's just, and Neil Innes is just playing an acoustic guitar through ouch. And it's, it's it really is a a cut above other Ruddle songs. It goes to that next level, and then they just nail it with the Ringo, you know, "Living in Hope" with Barry Wom. <laughs> oh God, it's great. And what I don't like about this album is there's not really a Beatles revolver period. They jump right from, you know, 65. And then they're in 1967 with Love Life, which is so awesome. As it's a send-up of, you know, love is the meaning of life. You know, all you need is love. <laughs> and nevertheless, the George Harrison. 
Ah, oh, little George Harrison thing is amazing. 1-800-449-8255. That's kind of like a little revolver thing there. Uh, yeah, that could be. Well, because Sergeant Pepper's got love you, love you too, or... <laughs> We were talking about the space between us all. I love Nevertheless and, and Good Times Roll, which is like Lucy in the Sky. It's just awesome. Double Back Alley is, uh, of course, you know, Penny Lane, and it's brilliantly done you know with like the the mccartney dirk mcquickly <laughs> it's really great man and cheese and onions nails man it it kind of nails a lot of different john lennon songs i mean i even hear like a little imagine this no countries <laughs> cheese and onions is it, it covers like the whole period like 1967 68 right through 71 i love that track and you know another day of course the white little white album awesome and piggy in the middle of course man um <laughs> the little magical mystery to a beatles you know hey diddle diddle the piggy in the middle <laughs> just the perfect 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 like I am the walrus cuckoo cuckoo <laughs> but my favorite song on this is let's be natural it's so awesome man it's a like another white album like dear prudence you know let's let's be natural <laughs> just you and me yoko let's just take our clothes off and be natural and of course in the movie uh neil ennis as ron nasty meets the girl that's like uh adolf hitler's niece or, <laughs> or something that's such a play on yoko <laughs> Her dad's like started World War Two, and it's just man, I couldn't believe John Lennon and Yoko laughed at that at one eight hundred four four nine eight two five five. But that just shows you John Lennon had a he had a sense of humor. So did George. So did Ringo. You know, but Paul, he's like, no, Clark, I want royalties. I'm going, to make, Clark, I'm going to get attorneys. So we're going to sue this. For royalties, because this is wrong. This Neil Innes, uh, this Ron Nasty, at one eight hundred four four nine eight two five five, he shouldn't be stealing me songs. And we're going to take all the royalties from the Ruttles because, you know, I'm I'm a douchebag and Paul McCartney. You know, Clark the Shire. Yeah, Paul McCartney, man, you, you're a piece of work. You know, your your songs aren't even that good. You got some good Beatles songs, but your solo career, Paul, is fucking garbage. I mean, you're like five songs, I swear. Most of Paul McCartney's albums are junk. I can't even stand them. I mean, John Lennon wasn't even around ten years after the Beatles. And he did all that great stuff with Harry Nilsson. And John Lennon's albums are all great, man. And George Harrison's music is great. Even Ringo has great shit. But Paul McCartney, you know, he's got like Band on the Run and Live and Let Die and like a, a gas line and a flock of seagulls. And that's about it at 1-800-449-8255. I mean, for me, the Beatles, the Beatles are John Lennon. I mean, you tell it, George. And Ringo's like, well, Clark, you know, he shouldn't say all that stuff about Paul because he, he, yeah, he looks after the Beatles' legacy. I'm like, yeah, Ringo, I, I don't care about Paul looking after legacy of the Beatles. He, he sues the Ruddles, or, and then Paul tries to get out of it by saying, but it wasn't me, Clark, it was the management. 
it was the record label, it was the publicist and the agents and it was, oh bullshit, you know it was you, Paul, at 1-800-449-8255, I'm kind of glad Michael Jackson took a bunch of money from Paul McCartney, I mean, in some weird twisted way, it makes me happy because this is such a funny, amazing project. The Ruddles, you know. Dirk McQuickly would never, never, John would be like, he would never sue the Ruttles. I mean, never. 1 800 449 255, The Clark the Shark Show. Who the hell would sue the Ruddles or get a management company or a record label or a publicist or an attorney to sue Neil Innes or take money from Neil Innes or take money from, you know, this project. And, and they basically put this project out of business, man. And, and now Neil Innes is dead and gone, you know. He worked on that other amazing Ruddles archaeology, which, which was so great, which came out, you know, right along with the Beatles anthology. And, you know, I'll bet you anything Paul McCartney had a bunch of lawyers calling that, too. Well, you, you, you can't do that. Hey, Frank Zappa, you, you can't use me cover. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not, I'm not making the call. It's a, rec it's a management and the label that do it. It's a lawyer's. It's not me. Uh, it's never you, Paul, huh? At one eight hundred four four nine eight two five five. 449 I mean, who the hell would sue... Or even make fun of the Ruddles or, or say anything bad about this project. And this guy, Neil Innes, raw nasty. Ah, he's so nasty, married to that Nazi. And her father started World War II. That man right there, raw nasty. He said the Ruddles were bigger than God. Uh, but he didn't mean it. What he meant was they were bigger than Rod. <laughs> one 800 449 the Ruddles, Ron Nasty, Neil Innes, just all these guys, man, amazing, amazing musicians, amazing, amazing, Ugh. they're all, they really play on it, you know, Ricky Fatar from the Beach Boys, Neil Innes, you know, and then this one guy, Ollie Halsall, you know, he he died a long time ago. And uh, the guy, John Halsey, who's Barry Walm, <laughs> he's like a dead ringer for what, like, a not really for Ringo, but he's like a Ringo. And he, and he sings like Ringo <laughs> on that song. It's so accurate. It is so spot on. It is so right on the money, man. These guys, the Ruddles. I love the Ruddles. I love I love Neil Innes. He's a musical genius. And I love George Harrison for supporting this. This is like their we're only in it for the money with the Ruttles. <laughs> That's one eight hundred four four nine eight two five five. You know Frank Zappa would have loved this. I'm sure Frank Zappa loved this. The Ruddles, these guys, man. <laughs> these four zany, witty, ironic, ir irreverent weirdos, wackos, British insanity. The whole project is just like classic. And I thank the good Lord above for Neil, his, uh, his talent just at ripping off the Beatles and just paying homage to to the to the Fab Four, the the greatest band that ever. We were bigger than Jesus Christ. We're bigger than God. We're the Beatles for crying out loud. And Ron Nasty's like I meant we're bigger than Rod. At one eight hundred four four nine eight two five five. The Ruddles, the Beatles, Ron Nasty, John Lennon. It's just <sighs> Fatar. Dirk McQuickly, Barry Wom. I'm just so confused. I kind of wish George would have formed that band with Neil Innes. And that would have been awesome. See George Harrison do an, an album with Neil. Make like the Ruddles. Before the Ruddles archaeology. You know, after the Ruddles. 
like maybe like 1983 or something, man. I would have loved to see George Harrison record with these three guys, Fatar, Neil, and, and John on drums. Just amazing, 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 amazing. Amazing. These guys, these funny four guys, but Neil Innes, of course, he's such a genius, but Ricky Fatar in the Beach Boys. Oh, you can't forget his talent, man. And God rest his soul, Ollie, who was the de facto Dirk McQuickly, Paul McCartney of the Ruddles, and the Ringo John Halsey. I love him. I love these guys, the Ruddles. I, I'm not kidding. I play this album as much as the Beatles, maybe more than the Beatles, because to me, the Ruddles are a part of the Beatles. Like, you know, there's the Beatles. There's those albums that are amazing, all of them. But then the Ruddles are like, they're part of the Beatles family to me. You know, kind of like ELO and the Bee Gees and the Sweet and maybe the Who. Maybe even Clark the Shark at 1-800-449-8255. But the Ruddles are definitely part of the royal family. To me, Neil Innes, he's like the sixth or seventh Beatle. There's Pete Best and Stu Sutcliffe, but then there's Neil Innes. He's such an amazing genius. God rest his soul. He, he passed away not that long ago, but man, all of them, man, the Ruddles, even Dirk, Dirk McQuickly, as much as he's a stubborn douchebag who wants to sue the Ruckles, that man right there, Dirk McQuickly, Eric Idle, also known as Paul McQuickly, who get a lawyer and sue you. Yeah, they sue you if he don't like your music. He can't even sue Michael. He bloody can't even sue Michael Jackson, but I'll sue the Ruttles. Yeah, that's real great, McCartney. At 1-800-449-8255. And you just got the most accurate, spot-on, honest review of the Ruttles. The movie, the, the little film is so funny. It's so good. And Neil Innes, I don't know how much of it he directed and produced or or how much George Harrison input but it's all funny it's all just so great man and uh, Eric Idle God bless him man <laughs> he's just so great in it they're all so great and their music in the studio is right there with the Beatles right there with the Beach Boys right there with ELO right there with everything I love the Ruddles man they they belong in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, just like the Monkees do. I love this project, man. I I adored watching this on TV. I think I heard about it from like Benny Hill or Saturday Night Live. I don't remember back in the late 70s, eight, early 80s, but I laughed my ass off, and I love the Ruddles. And I had to buy this album because the music was so great. And I bought this album so long ago, people so long like when it first came out like oh man i had to own the ruddles because if for me this was basically like owning the beatles maybe even better i mean i like this drummer more than ringo and it would have been nice if john had never been shot and he could have jammed with neil like john george and neil and maybe dick and maybe john and ricky and, uh, no Paul McCartney, man. Keep him out of the project. But Ringo can play for sure. Come on, Clark, you know. You know I'm welcome. Bloody hell, you're not going to include me? Clark the Shark, 1-800-442-whatever. No, I, I'm not including you, Paul McCartney, because you're a douchebag. I know you were behind when they sued the Ruddles and... It cost Neil Innes a bunch of money, man. And I think, just like Harry Nilsson, the way Harry Nilsson got fucked over by that lady, Cindy Sims, I think when you sued the Ruddles and you destroyed the life of that man, Neil Innes, Paul, he died because of you, Paul McCartney. 
You know, you you everything. Why don't you sue some of the rappers and hip hop guys that s- steal your music, Paul? What are you doing suing this guy and this project, the Ruddles? I mean, you're way out of line, bro. That's not even. I could see why you hang out with Dave Grohl. You guys are a couple of fucking douchebags. I I can't stand you, Paul McCartney. Get you out. I'm just, I just like these three guys, man. I like Ricky, John, and Ron Nasty. Because he's so nasty. That guy. At 1-800-449-8255. Clark the Shark Show. I love the Ruddles. And you just heard the word from the shark. The testimony. The gospel of rock and roll. The greatest review you'll ever get on this album. This project. This band. That should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Of course that guy should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Duh. Neil Innes, are you kidding me? Uh, Hello, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. What, you got Green Day. Oh, you got Dave Grohl twice. But you don't got Neil Innes? You guys probably don't even got Jeff Lynn in there. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. What, do you got Iron Maiden in there yet? I mean, did you think of that one? I mean, you guys are clueless. Oh, by the way, do you guys got Black Flag in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet? Do you guys have Greg Ginn in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Uh, Wherever you are, Canton, Cleveland, I don't know, Ohio. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Is Black Flag in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? No. Is Henry Rollins? No. No. Is Chavo? No. Is Des Kadena? No. Huh. That's weird. That's really weird. You know? Hey, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Is Big Star Alex Chilton in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? How about the box tops? You know? The other guy that died in uh, Big Star. And while we're on the subject... Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Is Harry Nilsson in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet? I hope so. I don't know the answer to some of these. But you know what? My answer should be crystal clear. Clark the Shark should already have an answer. Why isn't Harry Nilsson in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Can somebody answer me that? At 1-800-449-8255, the Clark the Shark Show from the golden EIB Sharkra phone. Coming to you live February 25th or whatever, 2023. The Ruddles should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Mickey Dolans, Mike Nesmith, and the Monkees should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, don't you guys think? And this guy, Neil Ennis and the Ruddles. Hello? You might want to put these guys in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You know, Harry Nilsson. How about the Electric Prunes? How about the Count Five? How about the Standells? Uh, any, Any takers? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? You know, what are you going to put Blink-182 in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame before you put the music machine sean bonnewell the fucking guy that invented punk rock goth metal indie grunge garage you guys don't have the music machine in the rock and roll hall of fame that's weird man and look at this picture you don't have these guys these four guys deserving especially ricky fatar I mean, just for his work in the Beach Boys alone, he should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We know this guy should be. This is Raw Nasty from the Ruttles. Bloody hell, of course he should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, man. You guys got to get a clue, man. This is Clark the Shark, 1-800-449-8255. And there's all kinds of great artists that aren't even signed who are huge all over the internet, like Clark the Shark and GE. And I know tons of others like Bat Lord, the Sponge Tones, the Reverse Engineers, Tom Shannon and Death and Taxes. 
Dave Basin, bass player. Amazing. He's played in so many projects. That fucking guy should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in my book. At 1-800-449-8255. The Clark the Shark Show. I will see to it that this guy one day gets into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Because he was an amazing, talented genius. Neil Innes. Super talented. And this guy too. Ricky Fatar. And this guy. He, Even I bloody sue everybody. If you clerk the shark, I'll sue you with, with me attorneys. I'm already in the bloody Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, me, me lad. I'm Dirk McQuickly from the Ruttles. The Ruttles. Fabulous band. Fabulous project. Funny. I ironic. Humor. As funny as Frank Zappa. As crazy and weird as like the Who. This band should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And you just heard the testimony, the word, from Clark the Shark at 1-800-449-8255. And I'm out of here, people. Peace.